like to call this meeting to order. This is the City of Southfield regular meeting of the Planning Commission for January 27th, 2021, conducted via teleconference. I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a, may we have a roll call, please? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Culpepper. Here. Uh, Mr. Griffith. Here. Mr. Huntington. Present. Mr. Martin. Present. Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin. I heard him say present, yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss Me is excused. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Present. Mr. Willis. Here. All right, Mr. Chairman, you do have a quorum to conduct business this evening. Thank you. May I have a motion to approve the agenda? President Biden tonight signing. Chair, Commissioner Carl Pepper. Yes. I move that we approve the agenda as written. Commissioner Willis, support. Okay, we have the motion by Commissioner Culpepper, supported by Commissioner Willis. We have a roll call vote on the agenda, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Culpepper. Yes. Mr. Huntington. Yes. Mr. Martin. With at least some Republican support, could this go anywhere? Mr. Martin. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Yes. Mr. Willis? Yes. Mr. Griffith? And paying tribute to a comedy legend. Yes. Uh, let's go back to Mr. Martin. I can see that you're a participant, but for whatever reason, not hearing you. Mr. Martin? Right, well, hopefully we'll be able to, to get that uh, reconnection made. But you do have an uh, approval for your agenda this evening. Okay. Uh, do we have any announcements or communications? Uh, none for me at this time, sir. Okay. Um, on to the public hearings. The first item is PZR 20-0007. Yeah, if, I, if I may, it, I hear some background noise as if someone has like a TV on or something in the background. I'd uh, prefer not to compete with that if we don't have to. So if you can mute um, yourself until it comes to your time, um, that would be great. And again, I'm still hearing it. <laughs> yep, that may be Mr. Martin. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I could. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm trying to. I, my headphones kept turning off, so. Yeah, I'm still getting the background noise, but Mr. Chairman, if you want me to move forward, I can. Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. Okay, all right. Um, so the item on the agenda, PZR 20-0007. Uh, this is the rezoning request uh, from the city to rezone 7.7 .7 acres of land from IL Light Industrial to I-1 Industrial. Uh, the properties are located on both the east side and the west side of Maple Ridge, uh, which is directly north of 8 Mile Road. Um, the screen that you have uh, at the moment shows the various uses uh, of the properties on Maple Ridge. Um, they go from industrial type uses to actually a couple of residential uses to business uses. Um, so that kind of gives you a picture of kind of the varying types of uses that we have on Maple Ridge in itself. Unfortunately, because of this, um, we do have some um, code issues with regard to some of those uses on the property that make them um, non-conforming. So we're, what we're trying to do here is 
uh, look at the rezoning of Maple Ridge to try and bring these properties more into conformance. As I noted, the current properties uh, are zoned uh, light industrial. The balance of the properties on Maple Ridge and then areas to the east and to the west are zoned industrial. Based upon the future land use map, um, the area of Maple Ridge uh, is also shown as industrial. So if we were to move forward with a, a rezoning to industrial, it would meet the future land use map that's in our current master plan. Oops. Uh, so this uh, slide indicates how those properties then would become similar to the other properties surrounding it with an industrial zone. Um, with that, um, I don't have anything else to offer except that we did hear from um, Rossock, which is, which is the property uh, right between Maple Ridge and Evergreen on the north side of 8 Mile Road, and they are in full support of, of the rezoning request. Um, with that, Mr. Chairman, um, this is a public hearing, so whether you want to start discussion or open the public hearing, uh, we'll leave that up to you at this point. Okay. Uh, this is a public hearing. I'd like to open up the public hearing at this time. And would you uh, please read the, the calling numbers and everything, Jeff? Yeah, I can. Um, the screen does have the numbers uh, at the bottom of the screen, oh, yeah. uh, but the WebEx number is 415-655-0001. And then when prompted, put in the access code 179-393-4133. Uh, as uh, you're aware, Mr. Chairman, um, because there's a little bit of a delay between our live uh, interaction here and then what's shown on cable, uh, if we could go, uh, if you can give me a couple of minutes here, we'll see if anyone uh, has any questions, concerns, or comments on this proposal uh, before we move forward. And do you want us to totally hold off on the Planning Commission discussion until then? Uh, yeah, I, I prefer to do that, sir. Okay. Uh, no only, problem. Yeah, because I'd like to the the public to be able to weigh in right away, um, and then let's let's wait for public comment first before the planning commission then weighs in. That would okay. be my my opinion, sir. We'll do that. Well, Mr. Chairman, we have um, no one who has called in uh, to comment on this uh, particular item. Okay. Um, we'll close the public hearing at this time and open up to the commission for any discussion or questions on this. Uh, Commissioner Huntington, to the chair. Go ahead. Uh, I think this rezoning makes a lot of sense. And it does fit, you know, right in with our master plan. I don't see any compatibility issues with this site. So overall, I think it's a, a good move. Thank you. Yeah, if I may, through the chair, um, I did provide to the planning commissioners um, our standard memo with regard to rezoning standards. And uh, you would note uh, through the writing of those standards that these properties do meet the standards for rezoning for the area. Okay. 
take a chair out just to Mr. Culpepper? Yes, go ahead. Uh, I think this is a good idea of rezoning. Uh, first of all, it comes, uh, it can conform to the rest of the properties in the area, which we need to do, as we try to do throughout, is making all properties uh, conform to one standard, and it makes all the properties similar. So I think this is good. Plus, uh, it fits right into our future land use, and this is what we got to start doing is to keep uh, petitions from happening, come in later and put in petitions to do certain things. We need to have that property already zoned properly. So uh, I think this is a proper thing to do, and it does, does meet all of the requirements for the special land use. So I'm in total support of this project. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Any other comments? All right, I think uh, the, the first two comments were, were totally spot on. So I have no opposition to this project. Um, where we have the recommendation from the planning department. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, the planning department does recommend favorable recommendation for PZR 20-0007 to rezone 7.7 .7 acres of land from IL Light Industrial to I-1 Industrial for the following reasons. Southfield Comprehensive Master Plan indicates industrial uses for these properties. Change in zoning would be compatible with and similar to the existing adjacent zonings. Sorry. Uh, to the existing adjacent zonings and land uses uh, to the north, west, south, and east, and the proposal in the court is in accordance with the standards for zoning of the property. This is Planner Crota. The only uh, clarification I just want to make sure it's on the record is that this is being done as a public benefit rezoning. So the city is initiating it, not the property funders. Everybody's been notified. Thank you. Okay, thank you. May I have a motion from the commission? To the chair, this is Commissioner Martin. Yes. I'd like to recommend approval of PZR 20-0007 for approval. Support. To the chair, support. Commissioner Huntington. Uh, Commissioner Culpepper, is that you first? Yes. Okay, I'll give it. You, you, you get the win on this one. Uh, we got a, a favorable motion by Commissioner Martin and supported by Commissioner Culpepper. We have a roll call vote, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Huntington. Support. Mr. Martin. Yes. Support. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Yes. Support. Mr. Willis. Support. Mr. Culpepper? Support. And Mr. Griffith? Yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you do have a favorable recommendation for PZR 20-0007. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we, it looks like there's no site plans for tonight. No, there's not. Okay. Um, next would be the approval of the minutes for December 2nd, December 9th, and December 16th. Any discussion or questions on the minutes? I'll throw the chair, Commissioner Huntington. I'd like to make yes. a motion. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion for a favorable uh, approval for the minutes for December 2nd, 2020, December 9th, 9th, 2020, and December 16th, 2020. Commissioner Willis, I support. Thank you. We've got a motion by Commissioner Huntington, supported by Commissioner Willis, uh, for approval of the minutes. May I have a roll call vote, please? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Martin. Approve. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Support. Mr. Willis. Support. Mr. Culpepper. Support. Mr. Huntington. Support. And Mr. Griffith. Yes. All right, sir, you have uh, approval for your minutes. Okay. Next, we have the public comment uh, part of the meeting. 
Yes, sir. Um, so for the public who may still be listening, um, this is a time in the meeting in which you have an opportunity to uh, speak with the Planning Commission. Um, you do get three minutes. Uh, we do ask that if, if you do want to make a comment, that you uh, provide us your name and address for the record, and then you can then proceed uh, for your three minutes. Uh, as usual, sir, uh, like earlier, uh, we'll wait a couple of moments here, uh, a minute or so, to see if we have anyone uh, who might like to uh, speak or, or provide a comment to the Planning Commission, again, just because of the, the difference between this live version and what's on cable. So I'll be back with you in a minute or so. Thank you. And Mr. Chairman, it doesn't appear that we have anyone for public comment this evening. Okay, uh, public comment portion is closed. Uh, next to talk about the Planning Commission meeting schedule for next year or this year. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Um, so the, the Planning Commission meeting schedule was, we've discussed it a couple of times. Um, the, the calendar that you have before you takes into account the various holidays um, as well as other meetings, such as um, the Michigan Association of Planning meeting, uh, the APA meeting, um, the, 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 the U.S. meeting as well. Um, so this is before you this evening uh, for approval for the remainder of 2021 and then for January of, of 2022 as well. So I just I would just uh, ask for a motion and a second uh, so that we can approve this this evening. To the chair, Commissioner Martin. Yes. Mo motion to approve the January 20, 2021 through January 2022 scheduled meeting, calendar scheduled meeting. Support. This I'm is the, to the chair. This is Cheryl and Steve is gone. I have a question before we move forward. I'm okay, looking definitely. at the dates and the locations, and if my understanding is correct, we will be meeting remotely through March, is it? That, that is correct. Um, currently, um, the remote meetings have been uh, um, approved through March 31st. Uh, and then that could, it's subject to change on pandemic conditions, but we will be meeting virtually through March 31st. So maybe we might want to reflect that, that location in the, in the calendar before we approve it in case of, for, I don't know if anyone else will want a copy of it, but at least that way it will be accurately reflected. I, I, I think that's a good point. Um, you can approve it subject to that on uh, note. And, and Mr. Spence, you could just add a asterisk saying that um, uh, something to the point of um, virtual meetings subject to the state emergency, like we have in the beginning of our uh, agenda. Okay, I can do that. To the chair, I also, 
also would like to suggest that at the top right corner of the agenda of the calendar, we change the January date to 2022 for the January 12th, 19th and 20th meetings. Yes, I did know that. I noticed that Mr. Martin as well. So I'll make sure to make that change. I continue my motion as modified. Okay. Um, can I have the second again, please? I'm not sure who was trying to get through. Uh, I, Mr. Mr. Costa, I was trying to get through, but I was waiting for Commissioner uh, Gunn to make her statement. So uh, I support that the uh, calendar be accepted with the modifications that listed. Okay. Um, we have a motion by Commissioner Martin and seconded by Commissioner Culpepper to adapt the planning calendar with the suggested revisions. We have a roll call vote, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Stevens gone. Approved. Mr. Willis. Support. Mr. Culpepper. Approved. Mr. Huntington. Support. Mr. Martin. Support. And Mr. Griffith. Yes. All right. Your calendar for February 2021 through January 22 has been approved. Thank you. Um, next is the approval of the Planning Commission annual report for 2020. Yes, um, we would like to do a brief um, presentation since um, it's more likely that the public will be um, watching this evening. And uh, afterwards, then, if there's no further questions or comments, we would entertain a motion to approve. And uh, this is scheduled to go to the council on February 1st. The uh, chair of the planning commission and myself will be giving a presentation with support from Mr. Spence as a discussion item on the February 1st agenda. And then uh, we are asking the council to adopt under their consent agenda on February 8th. With that, Mr. Spence, you wanna introduce the first couple slides and then I'll take over. Sure. Uh, so this is your 2020 can, uh, annual report. Uh, it basically is a, a synopsis of, of the meetings that you held, um, the items in which were discussed, uh, as well as certain meetings or conferences um, that planning commissioners or staff have, have attended throughout the past year. Um, the uh, annual report is a requirement of the Michigan uh, Planning Enabling Act. Uh, it does require that the Planning Commission make an annual written report to the legislative body, this being the Council, uh, of its operations and the status of planning activities, including recommendations regarding actions by the legislative body related to planning and development. Uh, we do list who the Planning Commissioners are, as well as uh, planning staff. Throughout 2020, we did have a, a number of planning commission meetings. Uh, even with um, COVID-19, we did manage to have 28 planning commission meetings. 13 of them were study, 10 were regular, five long range meetings. Uh, in addition, the city center, city center advisory board met 10 times. The Southfield Public uh, Arts Commission uh, met 12 times and the Zoning Board of Appeals met four times. Review items included uh, the 2020 capital improvement project presentations, automated vehicles, master plan implementation, non-motorized transit, the Northland Contour Overlay Development District Plan, small box retail, small cell towers, temporary outdoor seating, and zoning uh, ordinance amendments for medical marijuana, bed and breakfast, mobile MRIs, and then again for the Contour Northland uh, Development District. And with that, Terry, uh, would you like then to, to pick it up? Yeah, sure, thank you. Uh, again, you, you could see that um, we had a variety of issues and themes, including uh, pandemic responses, both uh, internal operations, working from home virtually, and trying to support businesses who were working uh, remotely during the pandemic. Of course, uh, 2020 also 
brought to light um, the need for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And myself and our team uh, participated in a number of webinars and discussions on that. And uh, most of these other things you guys are aware of that we'll be incorporating into the master plan. Next slide. Also, um, many of the team training and major themes, I believe we attended 28 webinars, uh, including art, automated vehicles. Uh, I attended a automated vehicle webinar this morning presented by SEMCOG, diversity, equity, inclusion, ethics, green infrastructure, pandemic responses, placemaking, trails, greenways, and bicycling were the major themes of the webinars from last year. Next slide. And uh, as uh, Mr. Spence had co uh, covered the number of meetings, we had five rezonings processed, 11, 11 special land use cases were discussed and, and moved forward, 16 site plans, and the overlay development district for Northland. Total development costs were over $630 million. Now, the bulk of that is uh, related to Northland with an estimated $550 million. But even if you took that away, um, the balance was $134 million, which is almost double from the year before of, of the cases that we reviewed. Next slide. Uh, the majority of new projects that we reviewed last year had to deal with medical marijuana, provisioning centers, row and processing facilities. I think we had a total of six that were approved last year. Next slide. Of course, we had the eye golf on 12 mile. We had the um, refresh and grow on uh, Evergreen and 12 mile. Next slide. Kirby's Coney Island added a drive-through in part as a response to the pandemic. We took an initiative to rezone some underdeveloped and underutilized single family residential into residential townhomes for the Southfield nonprofit. Next slide. We had Maple Tree Apartments, uh, which was a proposal to build 26 new townhome units. They hope to break construction this spring, break ground and start construction. We had city center, real estate group, expand hours of operation, which resulted in starters bar and grill, moving in at the end of last year and opening up in December. Next slide. We had the salt warehouse um, take over vacant underdeveloped property on eight miles, as well as new central carpet supply. And then we had the major um, move-in of an auto-related business, a Morelli, into the former Federal Mogul site, as well as Great Lakes Water Authority, uh, multi-year reconstruction of their new, uh, uh, creating two new water reservoirs and a pump station. Next slide. Um, contour development was a major major project with uh, implications for development over multiple years. Hopefully we'll be breaking ground on that this year. And of course we had restore rehab uh, that uh, was approved 10 years ago and has been restarted. So they got approved for their art installation last night at the arts commission, exciting new piece um, that'll be installed in the front of their property. Next slide. We had, uh, we're still going through the process of Yukon building, Kiwi Hospitality, trying to correct some legal issues, but we did move that forward out of the Planning Commission to the Council. And then Monday night, Council approved Southfield's Industrial Park's special land use for mixed uses at the former concrete crushing facility. Next slide. Yeah, that concludes the slides, Terry. Yeah, so um, we would be looking for a motion to um, accept and uh, recommend moving forward to city council. And if there's any other questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Uh, any additional questions from the commission? 
to the chair to Mr. Culpepper? Yes. Uh, Terry, just a footnote, not sure. With the uh, the total cost you added in the uh, project, uh, just wondering, I know I'm quite sure you and Jerry will present it to the council. If it comes up, should that be listed in there or you'll do what you did before, just mention that uh, a large portion of that is reliant on the uh, Northland project, or should that be noted? Well, we won't break it out, but I, I'll make mention of it like I did tonight. Because I was, um, I wanted to go back and double check those numbers myself after Mr. Martin brought up that we had about 64 million in, in development last year. But even even if you take the 550 million away, we still doubled the amount of development than we than we reviewed the year previously. The balance yeah, is 133 million. Yeah, absolutely. The question will be asked. Okay, thank you, thank you, Chair. Yep. This is to the chair, Commissioner Martin. Uh, we got Commissioner Willis first, then we'll come back to you, Commissioner Martin. Yeah, this is Director no Terry. Um, I recall a project we had on Eight Mile Road. The city of Southfield owned a parking lot that was shared with a building structure, and I am trying to wrap my trying to recall the project itself. But was that twenty twenty? Well, that was reflect reflected in the new carpet, new central carpet supply. On slide 23. No, not that one. This one. This this what this is the one that had the parking lot that the city owned. That was part of this project. Okay. 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 I'm good. Thank you. Uh, was your was your question what happened with the parking lot? That's I guess my question. Now that I'm seeing it again, <laughs> is it still in process? Yeah, I, 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 when I, dr I drove by there a couple weeks ago, I hadn't seen any construction yet started on that facility. They might be waiting for better weather conditions. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Martin, you had a question? Unless there are additional questions, I'd like to make a motion to approve the, the Planning Commission in 20, the Planning Commission 2020 annual report. Support, Commissioner Huntington. Okay, uh, we've got a motion to accept the annual report by Commissioner Martin, seconded by Commissioner Huntington. And we can we have a roll call vote, please? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Willis. Support. Mr. Culpepper. Support. Mr. Huntington. Support. Mr. Martin. Support. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Support. And Mr. Griffiths. Yes. All right, sir. So you uh, have acceptance of the Planning Commission in your report for 2020. Okay. Um, next, we have the election of officers. <coughs> discussion. Yeah, Mr. Ch yeah, Mr. Chairman, we kind of discussed this briefly last week um, with regard to election of officers. This is uh, an annual thing that we do at the first regular meeting of the brand new year. Uh, so obviously this evening uh, we do have our election for uh, the chair, for the vice chair, and for the secretary. Um, if, if we stick to the way that we've done it in the past, uh, we have nominations and then we vote uh, separately for the chair, for the vice chair, and for the secretary. So with that, um, if you're um okay with just doing nominations and then voting uh then we can start with the chair and then move through to the secretary this is commissioner rob willis i'm here to um, nominate jeremy griffin for chair thank you second I, I will accept that nomination right. any other nominations second, for the chair I uh, don't hear. No other nominations, Jeremy. You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> no one else wants to run to this uh, <laughs> glorious position. Uh, so yeah, I'll I will, I'll do it again. Um, maybe have some in-person meetings, hopefully at the end of this year. Looking forward to those. So uh, Jeff, do we, we need to do a, a roll call vote on this again? 
Well, I, I don't know if that's really necessary. You were the only nominee. Um, unless, unless, Mr. Crow, do you think that we should do uh, actual voice vote? Well, I, I think what we could do is take the nominations, and hopefully there's only one nominated for each position, and then you could take one one vote to nom to elect all the, the, no the nominees for the three positions. Okay. So right, with that, Mr. So with that, Mr. Chairman, um, we can open up nominations to the vice chair. Mr. Commissioner Huntington. Yes. I'd like to nominate uh, Robert Willis for vice chair. Why am I not surprised? How does that? Okay. Um, we have Robert Willis nominated for vice chair. Any other nominations? I don't hear anybody else. Okay, uh, moving on to secretary. Did Mr. Willis uh, accept the nomination? Yes, he did. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, thank Great. you. So we're looking for a nomination as secretary. And it's always good strategy to nominate somebody else before your name gets mentioned. <laughs> good strategy. <laughs> to the chair, I'd like to recommend uh, Commissioner Smith uh, Stevens Gunn for secretary. Unfortunately, I'd like to have a little bit more time in learning what it is we all do before I accept a position on uh, a leadership position. And with that, this is Commissioner Rob Willis. I um, nominate uh, Tony for um, secretary. <laughs> okay, I'll accept that. Don't sound so excited. Okay, one last chance to, uh, to make this a race for the glorious secretary position. Any other nominations? Doesn't sound like it. All right, Mr. Uh, Chairman, so we have uh, Mr. Griffith for, for chair, vice chair, Mr. Willis, secretary, Mr. Martin. And if there's no other discussion, then I will take a roll call vote. To the chair? Yes. I'd like to suggest that the uh, parties nominated be accepted by acclamation, since there's only one person for each position. Works for me. Do, do we need a second on that? Gotta have roll call. Yeah, or do we just skip to the roll call? Well, I mean, you have one nomin you have one nomination per position. Um, it seems pretty straightforward that we just, in my opinion, just do a roll call vote of acceptance for the chair, the vice chair, and the secretary to make it official. Okay. Sounds good. Let's Sounds go ahead with the roll call vote. Okay. Um, so again, uh, for chair, Mr. Griffith, for vice chair, Mr. Willis, for secretary, Mr. Martin, uh, Mr. Culpepper. Yes. Mr. Huntington. Yes. Mr. Martin. Yes. Dr. Stevens Gunn. Yes. Mr. Willis. Yes. And Mr. Griffith. Yes. All right, Mr. Chairman, uh, welcome back to the, the chair once again, and then congratulations to Mr. Willis and Mr. Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we don't even have to do a virtual shuffling of seats. That's good. <laughs> Next, any uh, any miscellaneous items? Yeah, this is Planner Pro. Go ahead, Gary. I just want to uh, remind the commission that our master plan social media web page is going live on Monday, February 1st. We will be sending a link um, to all of you 
this Friday. Last Friday, letters of intent went out to all the required entities, as well as all of our homeowner groups and condo associations. The website specific for um, the master plan with the theme questions is www.publicinput.com backslash sustainable Southfield 2026, one word. Again, we will be sending that out by email on Friday, but I wanted you to be aware we have uh, approximately eight weeks of questions, two themes each week. And we encourage you all to participate as well as um, try to recruit your spouses, adult children, younger children, your parents, your grandparents, neighbors, friends, business associates, we want this to be um, a robust public engagement process. Uh, so that's that's all I have. You'll get more details on Friday. And feel free to contact myself or Mr. Spence if you have any specific questions or suggestions. The first. To the chair, this is Geraldine. Yes. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, Mr. Crow, are they going to use or post it on social media? Uh, uh, the link on social media as well. Yes, we'll we'll be um, we'll be pushing this out on all media um, channels, Facebook, website, email, Twitter, Instagram, whatever we can. We're going to use. I just want to I just want to mention that um, experiencing the public realm and placemaking and public art are the sets of questions next week okay thank you thank you yeah mr. chairman um, the only item that I have is that we um, do have uh, items for your February agenda uh, we do have a number of text amendments that we're going to be bringing forward uh, as well as a special land use for the uh, the bird historical site for a professional office on that property Okay, thank you. Um, the only other item uh, has to do with the CIP. Uh, I did send an email to all the commissioners yesterday uh, with regard to uh, the February 17th long range meeting and the, uh, the review of the, the CIP with, with the various uh, department heads. Um, we are looking at a 3 p.m. start on that uh and then we'll go until uh we're able to complete uh all of the um the various um time frames with with the various department heads okay sounds good any other miscellaneous from the commission hearing none uh Meeting is adjourned. We'll see you next Wednesday.